Now, and now tapping in with a million roses. You know, we're coming out here to show some love to um, the young entrepreneur from out of New Orleans. His name is Gavin. He has his own mobile uh, sneaker boutique. He goes by the Sneaker Gazer. So yeah, we're just gonna go uh, highlight him. Let's go with you, bro. So yeah, man, we uh, I seen this on the um on Super Sense page. I seen mm -hmm. she had posted you, and uh, I just felt like man, like it was just something different, something very right. unique. Especially seeing somebody from um from New Orleans doing it. So yeah. just kind of tell me like how it got started. Uh, what like the truck or the whole? Just the whole thing? process, like just as far um, as you starting your. Yeah. So, in like it was around the summer of 2018. And I went to a, an entrepreneurship camp and we would get paid to, you know, do little mock-ups of different businesses. And at the end of the camp, we had to actually make it come to life and set up a little booth. And that's what I did because I've been reselling shoes for a pretty long time. I liked them my whole life. So I just wanted to bring that back and I just started reselling out of that again. So how old are you? I'm 16. So you're 16, when did yeah. you turn 16? In February. In February. Okay, so you just turned 16. Yeah. So this is a pretty big thing for a, a 16 year old to, mm -hmm. to have to be operating their own business. So is it you on your own or do you have other people no, helping I mean, you out? The majority of it, not really. I mean, I have a lot of people behind the scenes that help me out, but it's pretty much me just, you know, who started it and is kind of the face of it. All right. So was this always your vision to uh, like go this route as far as nah. having a mobile boutique? Uh, Not at all. So just how did this come about? Uh, it was actually my dad and I who kind of brought up the idea because we were just talking about some random stuff at dinner one night and I tried to do a lot of research on it after we talked about it because I really wanted to know if anybody had this and when I would search it, nobody else had it. So I just brought it to him again and asked him if we could do it for real. All right. You know. So how was the um, how was the the reaction you got from your you know your, your dad when you came with this idea like how did so actually um, after I told him what I wanted I just told him like how I wanted it set up I didn't tell him any of the materials or anything I wanted it to be like a complete surprise all right so when we actually got it and I opened it up it was all new stuff that I've never seen before because they didn't show me any pictures of it before it actually you know finished so. Like the reaction y'all are getting basically was the one that I got at first. Right. So how is um so how long you've been having a truck for now? Probably like a month. A month. So yeah. what's the type of reactions you begin from everybody else's? Oh, uh, it's like pretty much the same. It's like a lot of wows, you know. Uh, a lot of people they don't really understand it yet. Like I don't think it's really hit. But yeah. That's pretty much it. So what's the goal with this with this truck? Cause like I know New Orleans is a very tourist heavy city. Mm -hmm. This year, obviously, they won't be having a lot of things going right. on. But I know for years to come, you like you got the Essence Festival, you got all type of festivals. So, you know, what's the goal of this truck? Uh, I just want to bring a new experience to everybody because New Orleans, we don't really have any of the flight clubs or the stadium goods like at all in the state. So I just want to bring like uh, that boutique experience to the people down here and everywhere else. Definitely. So, what's some of your favorite shoes that you got up in here? Uh. These are all like the most sought after ones that I have, but if I had to pick three of them, it might be these for sure, the Pharrell's, um, these Betsy Ross's, these aren't even released anymore, and last, it's probably a tie out of these two, the Travis Scott ones and the Cause 4's. Okay, and what's the most expensive shoes that you have up in here? Mm -hmm. The most expensive this shoe this one and this one in the cream color okay yeah all right and what's some what's some entrepreneur advice that you know that you've gotten from people that you feel like really has helped you out during this process um a lot of advice people have given me was just like just stay focused and stuff and don't let you know just be confident in your brand because people want what you have, so don't short yourself. Definitely, definitely. And as you know, 16, you still got school and stuff right. going on. So do you think it's gonna be hard to manage this with yeah, school? Yeah, I've, I've been trying to balance it out with school since we're doing online stuff and everything, but it's, it's been pretty hard. All right. 
And what's some advice, you know, that you've learned through the, throughout this entire process that you maybe could give to another young and up and com- young up and coming entrepreneur? Uh, definitely believe in yourself because at first when we kind of got this whole idea, I didn't think it would be that successful because, you know, nobody's ever done it, so I couldn't compare it to anything else. But yeah, definitely just try to do your own thing. And just, you know, Definitely, definitely, man. And another thing that helped out a little bit, like we was talking about earlier, was the Super Sam post. Give it a sneak of gazing and pulled up with my shoes. Uh-huh. Oh, yay. I am here. Come on, sneak a gazer. What you got for me? What you got for me? Yes, Lord. Pull up game strong. Okay. They come out tomorrow? Yeah, they come out tomorrow. And you can't blow them today? For sure. Oh, so man. Let me get on and up in here. Oh, I need my water. You know, I get thirsty. Okay, you know, I need these right here. Okay, you pulling up, Gavin? For sure. Man, yeah. what you got here? Got Ooh, it's nice in here. Pull up game strong. Yeah, a lot of unreleased stuff. Uh huh. Like see right here. Stuff that y'all never seen in any stores down here before. Uh-huh. So you yeah, got the Yeezys. Where they can follow you at? At the Sneaker Gazer or at No Reservations for like all the different truck stuff. Okay. So multiple different sites. Okay, I will be back when Sounds I order good. my next shoes. You know I'm going to order with you, Gavin. Sounds good. The Sneaker Gazer got out and popping in here. Okay. <laughs> all right, what's up, Biggie? Okay. It's nice to hear a young man doing his thing. Appreciate you. Now, come on, let me give it to no my other shoe, babe. Need that. You got a lot of unreleased stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. You got a bag for these. Got okay. Extra laces and stuff. Okay. Feeling this. They got the lockers over here. Mm-hmm. Who did this, young man? Thank you. Super. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. I'm taking my box too, G. I need my box. All right. I need my box. <laughs> See the kid and pulled up. So just having like those type of people, you know, behind you and supporting you. Yeah. So you could just talk about, you know, the the amount of attention you started to receive after she posted yeah. that. Uh, it was a lot actually, cause around it happened two days ago, I think. Yeah, two days ago, but like thirty minutes before that, I had thirteen hundred followers with like 75 likes on my recent posts and then like right now today i have 16.3 thousand followers i yeah. think and like around 6,000 likes so yeah it really blew up yeah that's big time right there yeah. <laughs> so it's like now you about to be um the the, the face of the sneaker world mm-hmm. throughout new orleans so do you plan on like making this into like a bigger operation to where you have more yeah. trucks and yeah that's what we're working on now actually just right. trying to franchise it and get it out in different places and what about the what about an actual brick and mortar store? Is nah. that something that you don't want? No, the the reason why we did this is so we wouldn't have to get you know like brick an actual mortar. store. Yeah, so it's, it's like a thing of the past now. Right. Well, I mean, I guess so now. But right. I just didn't want the overhead and stuff, and I want to be able to go anywhere I want since not really many people. Well, it's very few people in New Orleans that are like willing to like that understand this market. So. I just want to go different places where people really appreciate it. Definitely, man. And I don't really have any more questions to ask um, right. as far as right now. You have anything that you want to add? Uh, make sure y'all follow all my Instagrams. Um, and get all this heat that y'all see. The uh, website is definitely coming soon. So keep on definitely. keep on supporting me. And personally, I just want to let you know, that, man, that I'm very proud of what you got Thank going you. on. You know, it's, is definitely a beautiful thing just to see young people coming from out of New Orleans doing things like this, creative, unique things. So just keep it going, man. Whatever we could do to help you out, right. you know, just hit us up. It's much you. love, man. Thank you. All right, bro.